Hello and welcome to the video. So in a previous video I showed you how to create a drop down list that alters dependent on what we've chosen in this case in the list above. Now I'm going to use those two options and I'm going to create a couple of formulas that will add up values for me. One for the store cost and one for the selling price. Now the formulas that I'm going to use come from the database set of formulas. And you'll notice that all the database formulas begin with the letter D. So we've got things like uh, D count, we've got things like D average, we've got D max, D min, and the one I'm going to use is D sum. So I need to provide it with three bits of information. Now to make this easier to follow along, I'm going to press the FX button. I'm going to use the function argument box. So part one, I've got to give it a database. So the database is just a fancy way of saying where is your data within this Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to select, and it's important that you select the headings as well as the data for this to work. I'm going to start, start highlighting from A9. I'm going to do control shift, right arrow, then down arrow to select all the way through to F57. Now, in the second box, I need to tell it which column it's going to be adding up in this case. So I'm going to do that by selecting the name of the column, just using the cell where it currently is. You could put speech marks and put the name of the column in. The problem with doing it that way is you've got to make sure you spell it correctly. So, for example, that you put the gap in between store and cost. Now, for the criteria, I'm going to use the two entries that I've got within column and item here. So if I highlight those two, if I press OK now, you'll see I get 7,300. And I'm going to format that to show as pounds and pence. So to do that again, to get the selling price, again I'm going to do D sum. Again, this time I'll do it without the argument box on the database. Same area as before. This time my field is going to be the selling price. And then finally my criteria is going to be again K4 and K5. So again, just format that to show as pounds and pence. Let's make that a bit bigger. So I now have two answers that I can alter. Let's do species this time. And let's have a look within the species. Let's have a look at blue fronted. So I can now see the total store cost of 1,700. I can see the selling price now of 3,897. So I now have two formulas that are really interactive. We can choose what column I'm looking at, we can choose what item I'm looking at from the first four columns and get totally different results based on what I've chosen. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you found it useful please give me a thumbs up and if you like my videos can you subscribe? If you do subscribe remember to press the bell notification that way when I drop a new video you'll be notified and I plan to drop at least two videos a week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.